How to train a cocker spaniel. Cocker spaniels are easygoing, cheerful, and playful dogs that make excellent pets. 1. 2. Fortunately, cocker spaniels are very easy to train. 3. Especially when they are trained as puppies. Training your cocker spaniel will require plenty of repetition, patience, and positive reinforcement. In time, he will become a well-trained and well-behaved pet. Veterinarian, Pippa Elliott MRCVS approves of reward-based training methods. As with all dogs, cocker spaniels learn best by reward and encouragement. This doesn't mean you have to accept bad behavior, but it does mean you immediately reward the dog when they do well. Crate training your cocker spaniel. Select a crate for your cocker spaniel. An important aspect of training your cocker spaniel is crate training. When done properly, your dog will see his crate as a place of refuge and relaxation, rather than a place of punishment. If your dog is a puppy, consider renting a crate from your local animal shelter, since he will eventually outgrow it. This will keep you from having to purchase new crates as he continues to grow. 6. Your dog should be able to fit comfortably inside the crate, with enough room to stand up and turn around. 7. Take your dog with you when you look at crates so that you will know what size and type will work for him. Make the crate comfortable for your dog. The more inviting the crate looks to your dog, the more likely he will want to spend time inside of it. Position the crate in a common area in your house, such as the family room, and place comfortable bedding inside of it. You can also place some of his toys in the crate, along with some treats. Taking the door off of the crate will help it look more inviting to your dog. 10. It may take your dog a few days to become comfortable with the crate. 11. Be patient with him and do not force him to be comfortable with it by a certain time point. Feed your dog his meals in his crate. When it is time to feed your cocker spaniel, place his food bowl in the crate. Place the food bowl near the back of the crate so that he will need to walk completely into the crate to eat. As he becomes more comfortable, you can slide the food bowl further and further back inside the crate. 14. Eventually, he should be able to walk all the way into the crate to eat his meals. When he is fully inside the crate to eat, close the crate's door. Initially, leave it closed only for the amount of time that it takes him to eat. As his comfort level increases, leave the door closed for up to about 10 minutes after he has finished eating. 15. If he whines to be let out during this process, wait until he stops whining to open the door. If you open the door while he is whining, he will learn that whining is a way to be let out of the crate. 16. Crate your dog for up to 30 minutes. After your cocker spaniel is comfortable eating in his crate, he will need to learn how to be comfortable in his crate for longer periods of time, 30 minutes or more. First, encourage him to go into his crate by pointing to his crate and saying, Kennel. When he goes inside, give him a treat as a reward and close the door. Stay near the crate for about 5 to 10 minutes, and then go to another room where he can't see you for a few minutes. When you come back, stay near the crate again for a few minutes and then let him out. Remember not to let him out if he starts whining. Reward him when you let him out to let him know that he did a good job. Your dog may need up to several weeks to become comfortable with staying in his crate for 30 minutes, especially when he can't see you. 18. Crate your dog when you leave home. Before you leave your house, encourage your dog to enter his crate as before. When he is in his crate, reward with him a treat, close the crate door, and leave quietly. It is important not to prolong your departure or make it overly emotional. When you return home, stay calm when you approach his crate to let him out. The more calm that you are when you leave and return, the more likely your dog will remain calm as well. You do not want him to interpret your departure and arrival as anxiety-inducing events. 20. Begin by leaving the house for short periods of time, 20 to 30 minutes. As your dog becomes more comfortable with being left alone in the crate, you can try leaving home for longer periods of time. Continue to crate him while you are at home so that he does not automatically associate crate time with being left alone. 21. 